Hi friends, Antimicrobial World welcomes you. In this video, we are going to discuss about carbohydrate fermentation. Carbohydrate fermentation is the process microorganisms used to, to extract energy from carbohydrates in the absence of oxygen. As we all know, all living organisms require energy to grow reproduce and thrive. ATP is the energy currency common to all life forms. So the question comes in our mind is, where do organisms get ATP? ATP is biosynthesized in several ways like photophosphorylation, cellular respiration and fermentation. Let's see, what is fermentation? Fermentation is a metabolic process in which Organisms convert carbohydrates to acids, gases or alcohols in the absence of oxygen or any electron transport chain. The objective of fermentation is to produce energy as ATP for the bacteria to use for synthesis and their own growth. The term fermentation is often used to describe the breaking down or catabolism of a carbohydrate under anaerobic conditions. Common end products of bacterial fermentation include lactic acid, acetic acid, butyric acid, butyl alcohol, acetone, ethyl alcohol, carbon dioxide and hydrogen. The end products depends on the organisms involved in the fermentation reaction the substrate being fermented, the enzymes involved, and environmental factors such as pH and temperature. Fermentation follows glycolysis. Glucose Glucose, a simple monosaccharide sugar, is the primary source of energy for every cell. Glucose is broken down in a series of biochemical reactions releasing energy in the form of ATP which is used to fuel every energy requiring processes. Glycolysis is the first pathway used in the breakdown of glucose to extract energy. Glycolytic pathway is common to all cells both prokaryotic and eukaryotic. It takes place in the cytoplasm of both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. This process does not use oxygen and is therefore anaerobic. Glycolysis is the sequence of reactions that metabolizes one molecule of glucose to two molecules of pyruvate with the concomitant net production of two molecules of ATP. Pyruvate can be further processed anaerobically to lactate or ethanol or a wide array of molecules as end products of fermentation. Comparatively, fermentations yield only a fraction of the energy available from the complete combustion of glucose. Now, a question comes in our mind is, why is a relatively inefficient metabolic pathway so extensively used? The answer is very simple. Oxygen is not required for this process. The ability to survive without oxygen helps the host to survive in places like soils, deep water and skin pores. Up to this we learnt what is carbohydrate fermentation. Next, we are going to see what is carbohydrate fermentation test. Carbohydrate fermentation test is used to determine whether or not a bacterium can ferment a specific carbohydrate. The carbohydrate fermentation test is also known as sugar fermentation test. Although the ultimate substrate molecule for fermentation is always glucose, some bacteria use additional chemical reactions to convert other monosaccharides as well as disaccharides into glucose. Therefore, 
bacteria can be differentiated both based on their ability to ferment various carbohydrates as well as the end products that result from the fermentation process media the medium used to test carbohydrate fermentation is nutrient broth that contains a fermentable carbohydrate peptone as well as a ph indicator ph indicator in many metabolic tests end products are produced that change the ph of the medium to measure this ph change ph indicators are included in the medium some common ph indicators are phenol red bromocresol purple and bromothiamol blue each ph indicator has a range of ph values over which it changes color phenol red is commonly used as a ph indicator in carbohydrate fermentation tests because most of the end products of carbohydrate utilization are organic acids phenol red sugar broth a phenol red sugar broth contains a fermentable carbohydrate peptone and phenol red glucose lactose sucrose maltose mannitol galactose starch cellulose xylose or carbohydrates commonly used as substrate in the carbohydrate fermentation test the ph indicator phenol red turns yellow below a ph of 6.8 and fuchsia above a ph of 8.4 if the carbohydrate in the medium is fermented and acid end products are formed then there is drop in the ph and a color change to yellow will result some bacteria will produce gases when fermenting a carbohydrate to detect these gases a durham tube is used durham tubes are small slender test tubes which are inserted upside down inside larger test tubes after sterilization durham tube become filled with the media if gas is produced it will be trapped inside the durham tube and is evident by the presence of a visible air bubble if you see a bubble in the durham tube the medium will also be acidic carbohydrate fermentation media or often used to differentiate members of the family enterobacteriaceae procedure phenol red carbohydrate broth prepare the broth medium by using a single carbohydrate for each batch fill test tubes with phenol red carbohydrate broth insert an inverted durham tube sterilize media by autoclaving for 15 minutes at 116 to 118 degrees celsius when using arabinose lactose maltose sucrose or xylose autoclave at 121 degrees celsius for only 3 minutes is needed the final ph should be around 7.4 inoculation of media aseptically inoculate each test tube with the test microorganism using an inoculating loop incubation incubate tubes at 35 to 37 degree celsius for 18 to 24 hours result positive result when using phenol red as the ph indicator a yellow color indicates a positive result that is fermentation of the sugar a delayed fermentation reaction may produce an orange color if bubbles trapped within the durham tube that indicates the production of gas a reddish or pink color indicates a negative reaction no bubbles within the durham tube indicate the presence of 
a non gas producing organism if no color change or adbubbles is seen reincubate the tubes for the next 24 hours and observe for the color change and adbubbles let's see some important points to be remember a modified unrated ph indicator is recommended instead of the phenol red ph indicator when prolonged incubation is required add sodium chloride for a final concentration of 2% to 3% when preparing fermentation medium for fermentation studies on allophilic vibrio species for fermentation studies on nigeria species enrich broth by adding 5% sterile rabbit serum or use cysteine triptic agar i'm concluding this video here and see you soon in my next video thank you friends